Okay, so I tactically acquired this. Um, it's called the MRE, also known as Meal Ready to Eat Individual. And pretty much this is food that they feed us military members. Um, and what I was going to do was do a tier list on the current menu as well as eat this one because I haven't had dinner yet. So let me get started. I finally got it open and it's inside another bag. So the first and most important item of every MRE is this, the spoon. And apparently this actually has a confirmed kill within the military. Imagine dying to one of these. Okay. So the reason there's a spoon in here is so that you can eat this chili with beans this MRE is not on my top five but we'll get to that so actually before I eat this normally what you do when you're eating an MRE is to use this thingy It's a MRE heater. So you pour water in this and you put this in there. Uh, use chemicals and cooks your food. But <clears throat> I pretty much never do that because it takes forever. So I normally just end up eating this up cold. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this up. So in order to use this thingy, you need water. So I'm going to go get some water real quick. Where the water? So now the magic is to put this thingy here. So you tear the top off. Like so put the top of the plastic in your bag for trash. And then we put this into here, like this. Boom, done. And then you'll notice there's a line here that says do not overfill. And that's where you pour the water and I always somehow managed to overfill this. I prefer to use these as a hand warmer during cold field training environments. What you can do, this produces a lot of heat, is you can just add the water, the chemical heating process, you can hold it up and you can just hold it and it keeps your hands warm or you can like put it in your jacket or something. So that's usually what I do with that. And I'm going to pour the water into it. Ooh. Yep. I filled it up to here. So while that's heating, I'm going to eat. These cheese filled crackers. They're basically combos. These are, I think, a pepperoni pizza. So it looks like this. Pretty good. 
dry. They get stuck in your teeth. Vegetable crackers. Their emeries also have regular crackers, but the vegetable ones obviously are worse. Um, and the reason I hate the crackers from the MRE is because they're the driest thing I've ever eaten. You're better off just eating a spoonful of table salt it's because these, a single cracker takes like five minutes to eat, even if you're chugging water with it. And when you're eating MREs, usually you don't have time to eat two crackers in 10 minutes. So I made the mistake of on my first field training exercise, I said, okay, I'm going to eat the crackers first. And then our, our drill sergeants were like, hey, you got 10 minutes to eat. Hurry the fuck up and eat. And then we're, we're leaving. So I was like, okay, I'm going to eat these crackers. I start eating one. By the time I'm done with the second cracker, it's already time to leave. And I've eaten, I've eaten two crackers and that's it. So that's why I just, these, I don't even eat them. I just throw them away whenever I get them. But just as once I will eat them with cheese spread. And cheese spread is also not that good. It's, it's actually pretty good if you put in the emery heating thing. And I guarantee when I open this, it's going to be broken. There you go. Broken in half. So this is the cracker. The other half is all over my floor right now, by the way. And then the cheese bread with cracker. Mmm. Look at this. Not good. Mm, this, I actually enjoy the cornbread of the MREs. So this is pretty good. This one, for some reason, is very smashed. It is flatter than usual. But when you pull it out, there's this little, um, like a thing in there that protects it. From like getting mold or something, I don't know. But don't eat. I mean, I guess if you want, you can eat it. It doesn't taste very good, so maybe don't. I wouldn't recommend. But the cornbread. Tastes really good. It tastes like my mom's cornbread from back in the day. The one thing I will say is it, it's very dense. It takes a while to chew and it's almost as if somebody took a tall cornbread and flattened it down, which I mean, they did. So then the last two things you get are lemon lime powder. I've had the orange powder before and like some type of tropical punch. Neither of them are good, but I'm pretty sure this kind is like the only decent one. And then you also have this little, like, uh, package that comes with a bunch of stuff. So it comes with napkins in here. It's basically like a little piece of paper. You pull the napkins out, open them like this. You have yourself a pile of napkins. Very useful for like the first, uh, month of basic i didn't even know these were napkins i didn't know what they were so i was just threw them away which was very stupid because napkins are helpful then you have the famous moist towelette it's basically an like a little napkin that has lotion on it so it's completely dry or whatever um liquid free i guess i don't know how to explain but for some reason they put cleansing lotion on this 
Tell it. Then you have salt. Coffee creamer. Sugar. Some gum, which there's a lot of rumors about MRE gum and why you should not eat it. But I don't care, I eat it anyways. And then this is freeze-dried coffee. And everyone I know that consumes this, you never drink it. You always just pour it in your mouth and chug a little bit of water after um, for some reason. And then there's matches. Now, I've tested this and not once have I ever found a match that worked in an MRE. But maybe today... I saw sparks. I think I can get this to work if I try hard enough. Okay, almost just burned my house down. I almost forgot the chili with beans. So I'm gonna eat that real quick. This, by the way, is hot. And when I open this, steam is gonna come out. That might trip my fire alarm. So I'm going to try to be quick about it. And also apparently the, the gas that comes out of here, if you, we were told, obviously nobody cares, but if you let the fumes from here out while you're in a closed room, it can like, you can inhale the fumes and it's not going to be, you can like suffocate or something. So, so yeah. I'm going to close that real quick. And stuff the plastic into the thing like this. And then set that back over there. Chili with the beans. And the thing is, it still feels cold on this side, or really hot on this side. If that happens, it, it's if you mix it, it will be warm and tasty. And I can't really show what it looks like without spilling it all over my keyboard or disassembling my webcam, picking it up. Um, but you kind of see in, in there, that's what it looks like. It basically just looks like regular ass chili. Um, I'm going to try a spoon. Here's what it looks like. It tastes okay. It's like mildly spicy. Um, not really a fan of chili. But, you know, if I was starving in the middle of Afghanistan, I would eat this. I'm going to set that right against my keyboard so it can spill on it. Warm bread. Mm. Mm. And now I'm going to show you how to drink this. The real way to drink it. <laughs> so what you're supposed to do is open it. And on the inside, there's your freeze-dried coffee grounds. You want to kind of separate the package so you can access and more easy then have your water ready and then basically you're gonna get a little bit of water in your mouth first mm -hmm. ah. delicious so that's how you're really supposed to drink mre coffee um if you're ever on like a 12 mile road march in full kit with an 80 pound backpack, you're not gonna have time to sit down and make your little hot cup of coffee. So you gotta compromise and do it on the move. They actually make special MREs that you're supposed to eat while you're moving. Um, but I don't have one of those, so. And then I will also try the lemon lime based powder as well as the gum this gum you're supposed to eat it at the end and it like cleans off your teeth and stuff so with the lemon lime powder 
it says you're supposed to add it to a half a canteen. I have about a third of a canteen should be good enough. So I'm gonna pour that in there. And I was like, lemon lime. I'm gonna take the same spoon that I use for my chili. Ugh. So it is extremely lime green. If you notice the lamp behind me, it is about that shade of green, possibly even greener. Um, and I'm convinced it has no lime in it because I got some in my eye and it doesn't burn at all, which anybody knows lemon or lime gets in your eye is going to burn. So now I'm going to try it. It's okay. It just tastes like wine. I didn't notice when I was drinking it, it was some of it, some of the powder clumped up and got stuck to the bottom of the cup. You might want to shake it a little, or stir it a little bit more or use more water. Like the instructions say that I did not do. But it's not bad. So, so now I'm going to finish eating this because I have no space to move my mouse around on my desk. And then I'm gonna come back and do the tier list of the 2021 MRE menu. I guess I could do the 2022 MRE menu, but it doesn't change. Like maybe every couple years they'll take out one item, add another. But 20, I went through basic 2021 to 2022. So that's gonna be the um, 2021 and 2020 menu is gonna be mostly what I had. So 